Um, so this morning, I want to talk a little bit about emerging technologies in this industry, which is actually new to me, um, the kind of mining reclamation space. I've worked with companies um, from all over, whether it's software or plastics alternatives or um, food companies. And now I'm, I am learning about mining reclamation companies. And that's what we're going to talk about a little bit more about today um, and how you can get involved with what comes next. Let's see here. Um, so I probably am preaching to the choir here, but you know, we, we need new technologies in this industry. We still have some challenges and um, I believe in market solutions for big problems, right? There, um, the, the beauty of this industry is that this mining reclamation space has a lot of potential for economic solutions um, and thriving businesses that could take advantage of some of the challenges that are in our ecosystem today. Um, so uh, we just need to get them started, get them going, find them, find the new technologies, find the entrepreneurs and uh, help them light a fire under their solutions. Um, at the same time, I, I think maybe for some of you who are not familiar with startups or don't work with startups very, very frequently, um, the statistic across startups is that 65% of them fail. Um, they need our help. Uh, and that, that statistic, while kind of alarming or it should get your attention about how difficult and challenging it is to create a new startup, um, I think a lot of those, those failures come from um, preventable mistakes and, and things that we can help companies with, whether it's funding or it is go to market strategies or how to finance your business or how to find the right team to put together and ultimately bring that solution to market. Um, I think that's why you've, we've seen a, a, a boom in things like accelerators and incubators over the last 10, 20 years because um, people have recognized that the patterns around bringing companies to market and helping companies be successful um, with a new technology, there are things you can do to help them prevent, um, you know, the potholes along the way that are predictable. In this space that are new, uh, Mountain Studies Institute, Newmont, and Telluride Venture Accelerator, which is funded by the Telluride Foundation, have come together and we're gonna create a kind of high impact, short duration boot camp for um, startups in the mining uh, reclamation space. So we've got this slated for the first 10 days in December of this year. Um, the program will be fully virtual. Um, this, this, what we're bringing in terms of, of content and format has been tried and tested at Telluride Venture Accelerator over the past two years. Um, and, and the content before that in a different format. Um, this year it's, it's virtual, which will be our, our, our experiment, but we have high confidence we can deliver really powerful program um, virtually. Uh, we'll take four to six uh, companies in this space. They can be uh, directly or indirectly in the mining reclamation space, so long as they have some um, solution that would apply to this industry. So that's kind of like, the bucket um, of things that we're looking for or, or the program we're setting out to, uh, to create. Um, so the first way you can get involved is that founders need inspiration. And one of the things we do during our program is we have what we call founder stories. So these are people who started companies and have been on the journey, the ups and the downs, the wins and the losses, and they know that the industry and they can relate to founders who are just starting out in the journey. Um, those stories tend to be very inspirational for our founders and kind of paint a picture about how it might be, uh, sort of forecast the ride to come. Um, so my first ask for all of you is, uh, if you could put in the chat, if you can think of one, what's the most inspiring mining reclamation company story you know, right? kind of beginning days to how they are now or, or what they became later on. Um, you know, we'll actively look at these companies that, that you recommend to us to see if we can 
you know, get the founders to come and talk to these uh, in this program and inspire the next generation of uh, solutions here. So give you a minute. What's the most inspiring mining reclamation company story you know? Got one? Put it in the chat. You can, you can chat it to us, uh, to me or to Marcy privately if, if you feel a little shy, but it would be really helpful to us. Okay, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep going, but if you think of one later, it's still valid. Um, I'm gonna keep moving. Um, you know, this, this mining boot camp. the first question, if, you're, if you are a founder or somebody who has brought this to market, one of the first things I get asked is, you know, what does it look like? What do you do at a mining um, boot camp? Um, well, we've structured it so that it works for founders who are actively building their company. So in the morning, we'll have some high powered content um, from experts around a certain area. In the afternoon, is reserved much more for one-on-one -on -one meetings, either with program staff like myself and Marcy and others, um, but also industry experts, right? And we'll, we'll get to that in a minute. I have an ask for you. Um, but also business experts, you know, finance, marketing, um, you know, what, whatever PR, whatever you, those companies need, if they can meet those uh, experts that can slot into some of the, the challenges that those companies have. And then those foundation, and the, those uh, founder stories that are inspirational kind of um, sprinkled along the way. Um, but with still plenty of time in the day and plenty of time in the 10 day schedule to get work done and to get uh, founders time to keep their business moving. Like we realize you can't stop the world for 10 days when you're running a startup because it's probably a small team keeping everything on the track. So um, we have that awareness as we go out and uh, do our boot camp. So, um, and that leads me to my second ask. Um, we're populating a list on our side of wonderful industry experts that we think would be really helpful to startups in this space. Um, and we want to ask you, since we have all these people here uh, with expertise, who do you know that could be helpful to a young startup in this industry? Um, in a mining reclamation space. And it could be you. This is your chance to raise your hand and get involved. Um, it could be you. It could be someone you know. Um, you, this is no commitment here. It's just say, hey, I might be interested. Um, you can follow up with me or even, you know, a LinkedIn profile for someone you think is great. Um, all of those things would be really helpful to us as we identify uh, industry experts in particular. We kind of already have the business expert experts because we've been running uh, the Telluride Venture Accelerator for many years. Um, and we have people with a variety of expertise on the business side. We're looking for the industry side. I'll, you know, I'll, I'll, if you have a marketing expert that you love or a PR person, like I, I'll, we'll take it. But I'm really, really asking about those industry experts here, especially people who have know how to get things off the ground or somebody who has a big Rolodex. Um, if you could type it in the chat or you type it privately to Marcy or me, that would be amazing. All right. Um, kind of another, another thing to think about um, for companies or a question I often get is, you know, what am I, what am I joining or why would I join this boot camp? And I'll, I'll tell you that, um, the Telluride Venture Accelerator goes back to 2014 and has worked with, you know, all of these companies you see here, either in a more traditional three month or four month accelerator program or in a one to two week um, high impact uh, boot camp. And so the, the content that is relevant to entrepreneurs is tested um, and works and is applicable to startups across any industry, right? They, you know, starting a company just has predictable challenges in it. Um, you also, uh, people who join this boot camp will have uh, a community uh, of support and, and, and alumni. Many of these companies are Colorado based, although we are willing to, we're looking at um, companies from around the world uh, because it's fully virtual. They don't have to be in Colorado, but there, there is a definitely a Colorado presence to this list of companies. Um, and we have experienced coaching startups. 
Um, myself, I've, I've worked with more than 100 early stage startups. Um, I've invested in almost as many. And, um, you know, you're really, you're really getting expertise, expertise here around, um, you know, startups and, and their challenges and how to deal with them. Um, it's lonely as a startup founder. If you know someone who's starting a company, whether it's in the mining reclamation space or not, it's just a lonely proposition to make something from nothing. It's a really um, powerful drive, uh, but it, it, it can be, it can be hard and, and challenging. And we want to put, we want to put resources around those um, brave individuals. Um, I feel like that's part of my calling in life. So, uh, and then I have one more ask for all of you. And that is, do you know a company or a technology, maybe like a, just a person with a technology that could benefit from this program? You know, maybe it's a researcher that you, you met six months ago, or Maybe it's a professor that you know that's been tinkering for a while. Um, maybe it's a company that uh, pitched you recently, um, but didn't wasn't quite, quite far along enough along. Um, you could look a lot of different ways, but you know, who are those people? Who are those companies out there uh, that we could reach out to um, that would would benefit from our help? We don't take any equity. That's a pretty easy yes for a company. Um, we just want to see these technologies come to market. That's part of why MSI and Newmont and Telluride Foundation uh, want to see these companies uh, in the pipeline and get in, and have the support to, to uh, come to market ultimately. And we think this program has a lot of, a lot of legs and we hope to do it year over year. So we, we hope this is just year one, um, you know, keep us in mind for year two if we, uh, miss the boat in December, but you see a great company in January, you know, by all means, reach out. Um, but this one is the one that's most urgent, is the, uh, this first boot camp we would love to make successful. Um, that I promise to keep it kind of brief. Um, I'm open to questions. And um, in this slide for, for Q&A, I have a link to uh, the application site that we have set up for, for companies to apply. It's called F6S, um, f6s.com slash mining solutions bootcamp. Or feel free to email me or Marcy and our email addresses are here. Um, and with that, I'll take questions. Thank you so much, Julie. Really appreciated the presentation. <clears throat> I've had the, um, the fortune to be involved with the startup community in the Gunnison Valley through the Ice Labs Accelerator and Incubator programs. And um, Chris Kasky, who was our opening presenter last night, came through that program. Uh, and he's from Delta Brick and Tile Company, I believe is the name of the company. And um, he's doing some really interesting and innovative things, kind of blending together uh, some existing technologies, but trying to find source material and en energy from unique areas um, get that benefits the sediment removal and um, carbon sequestration at the same time, or at least carbon capture and reuse. Um, so I love what you're working on. Um, and speaking of Chris, he's actually, um, I'm working on the side with him a little bit and he's looking for folks to invest to help him scale. And he told me I could get 10%. So if you would just mention me, if you talk to Chris, that'd be great. Um, but I love what you're doing. Um, so uh, I, well, you mentioned something really important there, which is uh, part of the capacity of the boot camp is to introduce companies to investors because we know that's a key bottleneck for them, um, and and we want to help them both meet those people, right? Might just be a matchmaker for them, um, and to help them prepare for those meetings to be high impact and um, to be in the voice that the investor is expecting to hear. I think that's a key mistake that, that founders make. They're used to talking about their business in uh, you know, more, a more scientific terms or um, how they think about it. And the investors are really looking for a different frame. So we definitely bring that to our, our bootcamp. It's like Tinder for mining reclamation. I really like it. There you go. Uh, yeah, and that's, you know, the big part of this. I mean, I, you know, I think there's a lot of really great ideas out there. And you talked about in the first part, inspiration. Like, how do we really get people inspired? Um, because I think there's a lot of great ideas that just that never go anywhere because the complexities are too high or the funding is unattainable. Um, and so that's a big part of it is like showing people a path towards fruition. Uh, and then that's what you said was really important, I think, on the other part of just saying you need to learn to speak the language that investors want to hear. 
And, um, you know, I think a lot of folks that come from this realm come from a bureaucracy that have some background in, you know, the, the science of reclamation or the action of, of reclamation, maybe in the field, or they're academics that come from uh, the realm of uh, working in a lab. And they try to take something to, uh, you know, to the public and the public, A, doesn't even understand what they're doing. We had a fun game with acronyms yesterday. Um, and B, you know, they, they don't really know how to put those numbers together on the back end side of the business because, you know, maybe for, for me and the nonprofit watershed work I did, we were getting grants. And so we, we operated as a nonprofit versus operating as a for-profit business. So I think that's interesting. Right. Um, or, the blending, or the blending of the two, right? I have a lot yeah, of companies sure. that are... Um, blending non-dilutive grant financing with um, kind of for-profit investor funding. Okay. So and, you know, it's an interesting pathway, right? Yeah, that's really interesting. And how have you been received uh, back in your community? Uh, for, for work in the mining reclamation space? Yeah. Um, you know, I think it's a little early to tell, uh, to be quite honest. Um, I, I, I would say most of my career has been spent around software. And, and you see kind of a pull in the larger ecosystem to bring uh, that, that's behind a momentum behind software um, startups. Mining reclamation, I don't think has the same boost <laughs> um, going in the, just the uh, kind of larger startup ecosystem, but I don't see any reason why it couldn't. And actually I heard something really interesting about uh, materials as a, like the, one of the strongest sectors to come out of um, the downturn, which I thought was really fascinating. So um, I think this will be something for me to, to talk to my peers about that they will be interested in because I, I think most people in, uh, you know, my day-to-day -day software world don't really know this world. And so it's new for me. And I'm really leaning on people like Marcy and Kelly and other people at um, Mountain Studies Institute to bring that expertise to me. That's I great. Get around out that team right you know yeah. bring your own expertise to it so that's good um, and so have you run any cohorts uh, with this boot camp yet uh, no this will be our first so this okay. is and this has really taken a lot of work on the back end um, to bring together the right people and the right um, support network for this industry um, and these kinds of founders so I'm, I'm really appreciative uh, to everyone who's already been involved about kind of getting this off the ground because that's a zero to one is always the hardest, right? Just like with startups. Um, yeah. And so, you know, it, it, you're a startup for startups. Um, so here's the problem is that 65% of startups fail. I just heard that today. So how are you going to make sure that you guys are successful? Uh, that's why we're here. Right? Yeah, good. Um, I, but genuinely, I think leaning on the community and, and I think this is a very understanding and empathetic group of people who want to see new companies thrive. And um, so I, I think, you know, I, here it is. I'm asking you, I'm, I'm calling for your help in a number of very um, specific ways, right? About companies you've seen, um, you know, could you or someone you know mentor, right? I think that's how we're successful. I, I, I believe finding great founders our right technologies and putting the right resources around them, um, you know, that's, that's a formula that works. Um, and so I think that's how we're going to be successful. I think that's great. And, you know, one of the challenges with this stuff is when you get into innovation and, um, you know, those early phases of even uh, proof of concept, we're talking about the proof of concept for mining reclamation technologies that take some time to actually prove that they work in the field yeah. and that they're stable and that they're not, things aren't going to revert. So that's interesting. Do you have the ability to support um, the pilot level funding? You know, I, I think there are things that you can do in a 10 day boot camp, and there are things that are not, are not reasonable. Right. Um, so uh, is finding, finding funding or getting on the road to finding funding possible? Absolutely. Is, you know, figuring out a proof of concept in 10 days re reasonable? No. Um, but there are things that I think are, are habitually underinvested in by startups and they tend to be about um, what's the strategy here? Who's our customer and what are they really looking for? Um, you know, rather than like, I've got a cool solution. It's like, um, you know, a more customer driven support uh, approach here is what do my customers need and how can I frame my technology to solve their problems, right? That's it's, you know, it's surprising how many startups you get that, that don't speak that language, um, that don't think about how to set a 
a strategic goal for the next couple of quarters. Um, they don't think about how to finance this business or, or have one idea about financing the business rather than having four or five, right? So I think those things are more reasonable to approach. And then with the, the industry experts like mentors to bring along, I think that's how you get you know, um, the conversation started around doing a, a pilot or a proof of concept or getting that funding. Like you ask a mentor, how do you, how do I get this pilot funding? Um, and then you, know, you ask a different mentor, who do you know who I can ask to do a pilot? Who would be a good pilot customer? And you ask another mentor for an introduction to those companies, right? And, and, and that work can be done in 10 days. Um, yeah, just at yeah. the beginning, yeah. I just hold, hold hands and walk them through the process. Yeah, um, I, I actually a, a great coaching phrase that I just love is, um, hold my hand, we're going. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little bit, uh, yeah, it's just a good coaching mantra. Like, we're going. That's the first, that's the way I did my first cliff jump ever. And it was just terrifying. They grabbed my hand and pulled me off. It was three feet. Uh, <laughs> so I'm not as risk taking as some entrepreneurs, I guess, in startups. Um, so we're going to move on from the q and I did want to pass on something that came up in the chat is uh, Beer to Clear. Uh, they're going to be making a presentation a little bit later on and would love for you to pay attention to what they're doing and maybe seeing if there's a connection between the two organizations. Yeah. Uh, thank everyone. Please put your hands together, please, for Ms. Julie Penner and starting off this morning's session. And you may go back to your coffee now, Julie. <laughs> 